Hey everybody, it's Joe Jonas hanging with Jag. Hi, this is Carly Rae Jepsen, and you're listening to Jag. Ryan Seacrest with Jag is B.O.B. So much swag with my homie Jag. And now, a look at this week in podcasting news. It's the Jag Show Podcast. Welcome in. Hi, I'm John Gay. I try not to cover the same topics in back-to-back weeks, but I had to start with an update to the biggest story in podcasting right now, which is, of course, the disastrous rollout to the changes in Apple Podcasts. And just to check, yep, you can still hear Steve Jobs rolling over in his grave. Personally, I've had no issues with the Apple Podcast Connect dashboard under either of the two accounts that I use it with, but I think I'm one of the lucky ones. Every podcast newsletter I get is littered with horror stories of folks who just can't get in, can't add new shows, can't get new episodes to show up. Also, according to Pod News, Apple Podcasts no longer taking the info straight from your RSS feed. Instead, what they're doing is crawling your show the same way Google would do with your website. So while other podcast apps check every few minutes, it appears Apple is only crawling every two hours or so, which results in the delay of new episodes showing up even for your subscribers. Just to be safe, I recorded this Wednesday afternoon, set it to release Thursday morning at midnight Eastern, so hopefully you have it by the time you're getting up today, Thursday. There is an explainer from Pod News. James Cridland, as always, does a great job. You can get that link in the show notes, maybe, because you may not see this week's show notes, particularly if you're listening in the new Apple Podcasts. Those aren't showing up correctly either. You will see them, however, if you're listening in Spotify, Google Podcasts, other apps, or if you're watching or listening on uh, the dedicated page for this episode at jagindetroit.com. That podcast uh, notes another issue. As I mentioned last week, Apple was first into the podcasting space, and they got fat and lazy as a result. As the space just blew up over this past year, they thought, we'd better do some changes. Looks like the bugs were not worked out before the big launch, and now, sadly, it is messing with people's livelihoods. Do better, Apple. Do better. With all the news last week about paid subscription models from Apple and Spotify, though, no news from Google on that front. They seem to be taking the opposite approach as Apple. They're moving at a glacial pace with podcasts, but they seem to try to get it right before they release anything new. Other podcasting news this week, a new um removal service is online. It's called Clean Voice. It claims to use AI to remove the ums and uhs from your audio. Uh, The website is cleanvoice.ai if you want to give it a try. It's been my experience that any kind of AI editor is not as smooth an editor as a real human being. But I would be curious how it works if you do try it. Again, I'll give you the website because you may not be able to see it in the show notes. Cleanvoice, all one word, dot AI. As far as the real human editors, some news around the popular free audio editing software Audacity this week. There's a company called Muse Group, M-U-S-E, and they claim to have bought Audacity. Now, the program is free and open source, so it's not really clear what the Muse Group actually owns besides the trademark, according to Pod News. But it could mean better support for the app, so stay tuned. Again, that is the Audacity app, not to be confused with Odyssey the new name of the second biggest radio station owner in the U.S., who somehow thought Odyssey would be a better app name and website than, oh, I don't know, Radio.com. Now, while corporate radio continues to corporate radio, podcasting is continuing to grow in all areas. Nielsen, the company that does the ratings for TV, radio, and lots of web stuff, they have launched a podcast ad effectiveness tool. It's going to measure the success of ads. And on the content side, a podcast is coming from Chelsea Handler. It's going to be an advice column. Pop duo The Chainsmokers are launching a singing competition via podcast on Audible in the near future. And the Tribeca Film Festival in New York for its 20th anniversary for the first time will include podcasts this summer. Finally, I'm planning on attending podcast movement in person this August in Nashville. If you're on the fence about going, understandably so, they've got a cool program where you can buy the virtual ticket to watch it online and then upgrade and pay the difference if you decide later on you do want to go this summer. You get all the information at podcastmovement.com. As always, stay healthy and stay safe, and I will talk to you next week. Later! If you like what you just heard, share The Jag Show with someone else who's interested in podcasts. You can also follow The Jag Show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Visit jagindetroit.com. 
www.thepeakshow.com.